Now, people have different motivations for being positive. Obviously, not everyone is equally as positive. For you, where does that come from? Um, is it from religion, sense of community, sense of family, parents instilled it into you? Where does where does that uh, you know drive root? I think it's a combination. It's the cliche like nature nurture. I spend a lot of time thinking about some of the adversities I experienced as a child and as an adolescent growing up and how much that grounded me in being an ambitious and positive person. You know, I just think it's like, you know, you don't ever want to wish adversity on anybody. But at the same time, you know, I'm entering a period in my life now when I'm thinking about parenthood and like will I ever have children and things of that nature and I, I I really think about how could I best parent and it always I always think about adversity and how could I challenge my kids but also nurture them and make them feel safe yeah of course it's interesting I was actually watching a clip from this either CIA agent or ex-CIA agent where they explain that a commonality among incredibly successful people is that there's a there's a midpoint of trauma where if you don't have enough trauma, like it, it won't push you. It won't, it won't give you that like chip on your shoulder. But if you have too much trauma, you could turn to substances or you could become self-destructive. If you have just the right amount of trauma or adversity, what you're saying that it's, it's not only like health, it's like almost necessary to become successful according to, um, you know, to what he was talking about. So I find that interesting. Um, yeah. Just to piggyback off it, I was watching a clip too. I totally agree with you. And that's what I was referencing. And, I was seeing Andrew Huberman, I think it was maybe, um, talk about positive reinforcement. And they did two case studies with children that took a, a test. And after that first test, there was two different groups. People, one group of children were, are, were given positive reinforcement based around their innate talent. There's, hey, you're so smart. You did such a great job. Uh, you're so capable. You did such a good job things of that nature. And then the other group was, hey, you worked so hard. Hey, you put in so much effort. Hey, you just a lot. Then they did a second test with those individuals. The, the group that got the positive reinforcement around work ethic and more emotional soft skills, well over index, they performed even more. And the other group actually performed dramatically uh, less. Yeah, I, I think I had heard that. It's funny because once you give them that, like, okay, you're smart. They're like, all right, cool. I don't, I don't have to try anymore. I'm good. I'll just do fine the next time. It's like a false uh, security blanket. A hundred percent. 